You guys, I'm so excited to read this one. I personally enjoy the drama. They don't even know how to properly act around each other. Hi, hello guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Laura and today's video will be a reading vlog. And because we're in October in the spooky season, I decided to read these two books that I've been putting off since one of them came out in February. Mostly because I just wanted to read them when Halloween was nearby, basically. So, take this video as my introduction into the Omegaverse. Um, in my defense, I'll say that I don't even know what Omegaverse means, but hopefully by the end of this video, I will. And to be fair, I don't even know if the books I'm reading in this video are even considered Omegaverse, but let's just go with it. The first book I'm reading is no other than Bright by Ali Hazelwood. I'm eager to get my hands on this one. I've read so many good things about it, so many good reviews and I think it was about damn time I read this. This book has been everywhere on BookTok, but in case you don't know what this book's about, this book is Ali Hazelwood's first paranormal romance book. If you follow me on Instagram or TikTok, you'll know I love everything Ali Hazelwood writes, so I'm pretty sure I love this one as well. Bride is a marriage of communist romance between a vampire and a werewolf, and it follows Mr. Lark and Low Moreland. Misery is the daughter of a powerful vampire leader and she has to marry Lo, who is the ruthless alpha of the world, to maintain peace between vampires and werewolves. You guys, I'm so excited to read this one. I've got this book since I got gifted it in March and her time has finally come. So, with no further delay, let's get into it. I love Alex so much though, he is one of the psychic actors, he's aware and he's terrified of misery because she's a vampire and please is so freaking funny without even trying. <laughs> So, I finished it. Ali Hazelwood, I beg you, please never stop writing. What a hell of a write of a book. I feel like this book is a hit or miss kind of book. You either love it or hate it, and I definitely loved it. I fear I'll have to read it sometime soon so I can like properly rate it, but for now, I'm giving it four stars and a half. This book gave me flashbacks to when I was a teen and used to pull on all nighter and stayed up until early hours in the morning just to read on my phone. To be honest, I didn't know what I was expecting when I started this, but I came out fulfilled. When people read Bright early this year, everyone was like saying how you need to read this next book next and how it was like the perfect read after reading Bright. And that book is The Fake Mate by Lana Ferguson. So, that's what I'm reading next. 
Now, I haven't read anything by Lana Ferguson yet, so this will be like my introduction to his books as well. The Fake Mate is a paranormal rom-com with fake dating, and it centers around Mackenzie Carter, a New York doctor, and Noah Taylor, a cardiologist. Mackenzie is pressured by her grandmother to find her mate once and for all, so she decides to fake take Noah, who is dealing with some issues like being an admitted alpha. So they start fake dating, but their relationship soon turns to be a friends with benefits arrangement, and the rest is obviously history. The blurb sounds really good. I am buzzing to start this novel, so. What am I waiting for? Okay, so I'm 45% in, in chapter 11. And well, the beginning was like, too very straightforward like in chapter one they were already talking about fake dating and stuff and that threw me off a bit and i also got a bit bored in between but now they're just so awkward with each other and it's funny they don't even know how to properly act around each other Okay, so I just finished The Fake Mate. I didn't like this book as much as I was expecting to. Maybe it was like the lack of plot aside from the romance part, I guess. I don't know. I don't really understand why people said this book was the perfect read after reading Bright by Al Hazelwood because both novels couldn't be more the opposite from each other. It also has the up breakup. I personally enjoy the drama, but I know lots of people who don't especially when the breakup is this tool and not really that necessary so yeah anyway if you haven't read this book yet just know it has the thing of breakup and um, i will give it three stars it's not like i didn't like it because i did but more like it just didn't stand out to me if that makes sense but turns out I really enjoy reading on Megaverse, so if anyone has any more book recommendations like the ones I read in this video, please put them down below in comments because I like to read them all. And as always, thank you so so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe and to follow me on all my socials. See you in the next video!